Good afternoon everyone, this is Luther B40. Uh, just giving you the my uh, my uh, uh, zero fossil fuel regulated uh, power PWM showed up today. I figured this is a good a time as any to, uh, to uh, try it out. And uh, <clears throat> uh, while I'm while, while I got it stationary, let me just point out a couple of new changes. Uh, since the last time I did a, a video, I've got a uh, uh, one of these Craftsman clamp-on meters. It measures uh, AC and DC vo uh, AC and DC amps. Um, yeah, it's a model uh, 82369. Well, I tell you what, that was a hard one to find. Sears said they had one, but when I tried to order it, they didn't, they never delivered it. I also upgraded my power supply. I got a, uh, a diamond, a diamond brand. It's a GZV4000. It's a, a power supply that goes down. I can adjust it from 5 volts all the way up to uh, 15 volts. Uh, 40 amp, 40 amp draw. I haven't really had a chance to put it through its paces either. So there's a lot of new stuff today. And you'll notice there's my, uh, I got my, my, I got my sticker applied finally. So I got my EBN stickers applied on my cell. And as you can see, my water level is way low. So, I mean, I've already fired this up a, a few minutes ago just to see what was going on. And uh, what I found, I mean, I haven't even attempted to adjust this. This is just straight out of the box, probably not more than an hour and a half ago from wearing and wired it up. Uh, yeah, you see, I got two two amp meters. I'm, I would be measuring amps with clamp meter, but I also got I still got my standby shunt right here. Uh, this PWM and this and, and this shunt, they don't play well together, as far as I can tell. I, I mean, when I first compared these two uh, off of DC, they were a lot closer together. But now, this thing is reading to the moon when that's reading more uh, more reasonable numbers. So I'm not, I haven't decided what that's about. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, let me just fire it up one time so you can see it. Uh, right this minute. Yeah, let me just do that. Now let me fire it, right, fire it up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, you see, I've got the, uh, I got the ZFF PWM fired up and running. I have, 13.01 volts at the cell itself. I uh, noticed that uh, uh, when I first started run, running this, I, this was configured as uh, 4N4, but my concentration is so strong and the PWM does, does not appear to be defaulted to 20 amp limiting that I was pushing uh, 42 amps through here and my wiring is not up to the uh, was not up to the grade so I cheated and, and uh, reconfigured for 5N3 so I can drop the voltage down and reduce my amps so right now according to this amp gauge I'm reading 22.6 uh, amps uh, this one would be half of that would be 15, 16, 17 uh, that would be 18 amps according to this so there is a disparity between the two and I haven't decided if it's this meter is wrong or that meter is wrong, but one of the two is not correct. I, I could try this one right here, but I, I don't necessarily trust it, mainly because um, I've got the battery in parallel with it just to help keep the noise off of it. I remember I had that problem before. And it's showing, you can't make it out, but it's showing amps of 24. So, that might be correct. I don't know, it's hard to say. I haven't decided. i got three different opinions about how many amps I'm actually pushing right now. But uh, I think I'm going to have to come back in here and I'm going to have to figure out, I'm going to have to understand about the current limit so I can set that back to about 25 amps. So i got to come back to that. Um, it's putting out gas like it's supposed to. It seems to be uh, pretty nice. The one thing I got used to was that in that $30 one, I could turn it all the way down to zero. <laughs> I, 
this is uh, this is either going or it's not going. So which means I got to come up with uh, alternative switching. I've got a I've got a relay and some switches that I'm gonna that I was gonna use on the car, but I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna do that here. I just wanted to fire this up and show you what it and it seems to be working. All I can say is when I first fired this thing up, it scared me. Uh, I mean, it wasn't even a wasn't even a full cell. It was this full and it's still pulling 45 watts. And it's like, holy moly. Or 45 amps, excuse me. That's just, that just plain scared me. And then my wire started getting hot and I said, um, things aren't like they used to be. We're not in Kansas anymore. So, I don't know, I mean, I believe most of that is probably this, uh, this uh, double size power, uh, power supply. But, um, this seems to work pretty slick. I just I wish I, I wish I could actually see the current limiting work. But I can actually I can control amps just by turning up the voltage. If I turn up the voltage, and just crank this up. And it just keeps right on going. Okay. That is 15 amps. According to that, that's 30 38 38 amps. Um, I got a 30 amp, 30 amp circuit breaker attached to the end of this, which it sounds to me like it's not rated very well, but I'm also not overloaded. This overload LED would come on once I get to about 43, uh, 43 amps. So, right this minute, I mean this one, if you take the, my normal calculations, this would say 30 amps. So half of that volt, half of that voltage is 30 amps. This is saying 40 amps. And I'm beginning to think, I'm beginning to think that one is probably the most accurate of the three. That one right there says 40 amps pegged out. Well, yeah, it's hard to say. Yeah, see I'm driving 14.27, 14.3 volts. And that thing, I don't know if you can make that out, that is just cooking, that's just cooking away. I got a foaming problem, but I could probably do a test on my, on the output, just by plugging this hole. So uh, it's just ballpark. It's not a real number, but uh, on mark, get set, go. And I'm gonna stop it. Uh, I'm gonna let it go just after it gets past 700. So <clears throat> when it gets 700, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. So I'll be able, just be able to use the timer on the video just to get an idea how many, how many amps, how, how much gas that's putting out right now at this at the, this particular configuration. But I mean, it's not even full. I don't even have the cell full. It's only well, that's probably back pressure. But when this thing sits idle, this this is down to here, which is when it's starting off cold. It's only this. It's only this full. That was just because I was too lazy to fill it up. I was I was taking that apart. And I was going to take uh, and dump that out, and I was going to add a uh, a drain spigot on the back back of this thing so I could drain it out without having to spill everything everywhere. I need to do the same thing on this other on this other setup back here. I got to put a drain spigot on it too. And it's one of those things I wanted to do, just never got around to doing it. All right, well, I've done wasted enough of your time. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch my videos. Uh, this is Luther P40, uh, signing off. Thank you.